Children sometimes require hepatobiliary surgery, which means surgery of the liver, bile duct, or pancreas. Um, and they need this type of surgery for a variety of different conditions, most of which are inherited. So a child may be born with an abnormality of the liver or the pancreas or of the bile duct. And these are rare conditions that are dealt with by only very unique people with very unique backgrounds. Hepatobiliary surgery refers to surgery of the liver, bile ducts, and pancreas. Children sometimes have what we call congenital problems. They're inborn or developmental, and a child is born with and then develops in early childhood a problem with the structure of one of these organs. Examples of problems that require hepatobiliary surgery would be tumors of the liver that young children get. Hepatoblastoma would be the most common, but there are a variety of cancers that can actually occur in a very young child's liver. The bile duct often has congenital anomalies. One is called a colodocal cyst, which is a dilation or widening of the bile duct so that it does not function properly. Another is a congenital problem called biliary atresia, where a child is born and the liver develops normally, but there are no bile ducts to carry the bile out of the liver to the intestinal tract. Pancreatic disorders are quite rare in children, and these sometimes do require major surgery which is very rarely done by pediatric surgeons. MedStar Georgetown has a very unique team. Almost nowhere in the country will you find a team of medical and surgical specialists that deal specifically with hepatobiliary problems in children. Because we have one of the largest liver and multivisceral transplant programs in the world here at Georgetown, we have assembled a team of specialists that are quite unique. So we have medical specialists who are just experts in liver diseases in children. Another who is just a specialist in pancreas diseases in children. And another who is a specialist just in malformations of the intestinal tract in children. Then we have surgeons who perform all these complex operations and transplants that are required for these rare diseases that come from all over the world to Georgetown. As you can imagine, children with these sorts of diseases are quite rare. And in fact, they often come from far away it means the family often is displaced and has to travel to Washington, and we have families come from all over the United States, but also all over the world. Stay here for several weeks sometimes while they pursue care, and then stay in a specialized unit that we've developed for children specifically with these disorders. So the Transplant Center for Children is a 15-bed inpatient unit where children, family members, and others can stay and actually live in the hospital together as a team or a family unit while they get specialized care from our program. You know, over 20 years time, MedStar Georgetown has accumulated a team of medical, and surgical specialists that focus on these very rare problems of the liver, pancreas, and bile ducts in children. It's a unique asset that exists almost nowhere else in the United States. Patients come from all over the world with these rare problems specifically for this reason. While large children's hospitals often have surgeons who deal with a rare case of a hepatobiliary problem, a team like ours that focuses almost exclusively on this all the time 
has thousands and thousands of cases. And that experience is unique.